I'm tired of you uploading videos of the Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9. I have a Galaxy S3 and it's so old. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm from HotAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've been pushing out too many videos, probably of the S6 and S6 Edge and the M9. Um, so let's take a break. I know a lot of you have been requesting for a ROM for the Galaxy S3. And one way you can make the Galaxy S3 better than an S6 or S6 Edge or the M9 is to install Android 5.1, which doesn't exist for those newer phones yet. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and install CM 12.1 on these bad boys and make it super fast. Enjoy the latest and best of Android. And you can even connect to Wi-Fi straight from your shortcuts. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I've got CM 12.1 installed on my GTI 9300. Uh, looking very good, uh, that's actually really fast. And also on my Verizon uh, Galaxy S3. All right, let me just go ahead and grab this one and show you because they're nearly identical. Um, so inside this ROM, of course, you'll find Android 5.1, uh, which brings several new additions. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, connect your Wi-Fi straight uh, from your quick settings, Bluetooth, all right? Uh, those are like one of the few improvements with Android 5.1. Of course, also, this is much faster than a uh, previous Lollipop. This is the fastest. Now, as far as bugs and stuff, I actually haven't found any. Actually, it's pretty solid because the changes from Android 5.0.2 to 5.1, there wasn't too much. Um, so, you know, there still might be bugs, but I mean, it is pretty solid as it is. And these are just builds. If there are any bugs, it's going to be Sinogen mod uh, bugs. Um, but I've tested everything so far. Everything seems to be working. Uh, camera, camcorder, I'll show you in a second. Of course, you'll get themes here. Uh, something new with uh, Android 5.1 and CM 12.1 is that you'll be able to actually select the apps you want to get notifications from. Uh, for example, maybe you get a lot of, no you know, uh, my, my daughter Peony, she has a like a, she's running KitKat. She gets all of these game notifications and she thinks it's real. And she's like, hey, daddy, Garfield is talking to me. I'm like, no, that's not it. But you can go here, uh, for example, if you don't want to get notifications from messaging, um, you can disable notifications, set the priority. Uh, so that way, you know, you only get the notifications. So that's kind of a nifty feature. And of course, uh, you get the themes. Uh, which is now standard feature. Also, you can have multi-user uh, with Android 5.1. Uh, if your you know, daughter or son uses your phone all the time and uh, they mess up your apps or whatever, you can log out and sign them in to their own account with their own games. Performance is actually pretty good. So there's actually no custom kernel so far for this Android 5.1. There should be, and I should have an update for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the camera. This is the default camera on board. Everything uh, works well, which is amazing because before with newer Android versions, sometimes you would have problems with the camera. So that is really nice. And I really like that. Uh, there we go. And you can see the camera video recording works very well. No lag whatsoever. Uh, everything works pretty good. And you can see even the launcher rotates, uh, which is very nice. And also you can grab the Google camera from the Play Store to add Photosphere and Panorama uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, but definitely check it out. Other than that, it's pretty much a CM, straight up CM and also Audio FX app is great. This is the new CM uh, audio tweaking app. So definitely grab it. It is available for GTI 9300, all the at and T-Mobile Sprint, Verizon. For at and and Verizon, oh, it's 420. If you have the older uh, S3s, with unlock bootloader, then you, you'll be able to install this ROM. But uh, if you recently got the phone, or if you updated your phone to 4.4.2 or 4.3 actually, or higher and you never rooted it, then you're out of luck. You'll have to stick with TouchWiz ROMs. Uh, but definitely check it out. Uh, installation is straightforward. Uh, make sure you format system and reinstall the ROM if you end up in a boot loop. That's you know uh, the way you fix nine out of 10 problems like that. And uh, other than that, love this ROM, uh, very fast. I don't think you will have any problems. Battery life should be pretty good. Performance should be excellent, faster than anything you've tried. Uh, even if you don't get to get one of these new shiny phones, 
uh, you know, if you root and install custom ROMs, you can make it, you know, fast or make it make the best out of it. You know, life is all about making the best out of what you have, not necessarily getting the best stuff and being happy. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, that's it. And thanks for watching this video. I've been uploading a lot of videos. I uh, apologize, just a lot of stuff to do. And I'd rather do them now than, than a week later when I forget. And since I already have these phones, I want to get these videos out as soon as it comes into my head. If I procrastinate, wait till next week, those videos never get uploaded. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching all my videos. I have more stuff coming for the OnePlus One, the T-Mobile Note 4, Note 3. I've been listening to you guys. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And as always, don't take life too seriously and stay on Android.